Hi, I'm Elizabeth, and I'm a lab technician in the Live Materials Lab. I'm going to talk to you today about crayfish care. When your crayfish arrive, they'll either arrive in a waxed cardboard box or in a plastic bucket like this one. Depending on the time of year, they'll likely come with an ice pack to help keep them cool during transit. You should have a habitat set up for the crayfish before they arrive. The water you provide them should be clean. Drinking water or spring water is best. You can also use tap water that has been left out for 48 hours to allow the chlorine to evaporate off, or that has had a dechlorinating agent added to it to get rid of the chlorine. The temperature of the water should be room temperature or cooler, between 74 and 62 degrees Fahrenheit. You should change the water in the tank every day unless you have a air stone or filtration device set up on the habitat. Then you can change the water less often. You should feed the crayfish every day. Food options are fish flake food, dry dog food that does not contain red food dye, or an aquatic plant such as Elodea. Be sure to pull out any uneaten food at the end of the day. Allowing food to stay in the water day after day fouls the water and can be harmful to the health of your crayfish. The water level in your habitat should be between two and three inches in depth just enough to cover your crayfish. You can also provide a platform to allow the crayfish to climb out of the water. It shouldn't provide an opportunity for the crayfish to escape the habitat though. You should also provide plenty of hiding places for your crayfish. Suitable hiding spots are small clay pots, pieces of PVC pipe, or really any small hiding spot like a plastic container. Crayfish are very territorial and providing these hiding places will decrease the amount of fighting. If you need to handle your crayfish, be sure to wear gloves because they can pinch you. When you pick them up, pick them up behind the claws so that they can't reach back and pinch you. You can also use tongs. Gently pick them up in the same place behind the claws. Crayfish claws are strong and can pinch you hard. They can also lose a claw in a fight. It's normal to see a crayfish missing a claw. They will likely regrow re this claw. Crayfish molt several times during their life as well. If you see a crayfish that isn't moving, they could be getting ready to molt. You should separate this crayfish from the other crayfish in a quarantine tank and wait and see if they molt. After they molt, their shell will be soft for the next 24 hours. Allow them at least 24 hours for their shell to harden before placing them back in the population. The other crayfish may cannibalize them during the time that they're molting if you leave them in with the other crayfish. In order to sex a crayfish, you have to look at the underside of them. Male crayfish have enlarged pleopods that are typically white in color. Female pleopods are typically uniform. The pleopods are just underneath the legs. This is a female crayfish. If you have any further questions about crayfish care, you can refer to your live materials care guide, or you can call our live materials lab. We hope you enjoy raising your crayfish, and thanks.